Hello, welcome to Simon Shield Cars. Today we're going to show you a lovely Peugeot 3008 which we've taken in in part exchange. So this is a 2018 uh, 67 plate uh, 3008 1.2 GT line manual. Um, so GT line loads of specification on this. We'll show you around some of the bits and pieces in a minute. Um, 30,700 miles. Um, service history with the car, lovely condition around, really practical lease, um, fabulous little engine in this, 1.2 three-cylinder engine but produces 130 brake horsepower, so goes really well but very economic as well. So let's show you around. So starting on the front here, this has got the, uh, the little panel below the uh, number plate there, that is the uh, auto stop, city stop system, so if you miss the brakes um, it will stop you. Uh, before you hit something. Also front parking sensors on there as well. As you can see from the number plate, um, the previous owner, he bought the car from uh, Sidegate Motors for a Peugeot dealer in Lower Stoft, I believe it is. Okay, so looking around the car, we've got the Xenon um, or LED headlights. Can't remember which they are, but very bright. Um, just having a look in there. Yes, they are LED uh, headlights in there, um, which are fantastic, really, really bright. Um, Front parking sensors with the side sensor there as well. So I think this has got self park on this car as well. 18 inch alloy wheels, all in good order all the way round. Lovely bright day, you can see the paintwork, lovely blue metallic this car. With these nice chrome trims along the bottom of the doors. Black roof on this car. Coming around the back here. It's really quite a stylish looking car, this nice lines to it. Show you the uh, inside the boot here now this has got gesture control so you can wave your foot under the back here as long as you've got the keys with you and it'll open the boot it looks like a bit of a gimmick but actually if you had a handful of uh, shopping or armful of shopping or whatever it's really convenient because you haven't got to find the key or push the button to open it so in the back here as you can see nice low loading lip um, but high high space in here so no uh, leaning down um, spare wheel as well, space saver spare wheel, all the tools, locking wheel studs here and also this is an adjustable boot level you can actually put this down a bit lower so if you need more room in the car it gives you a little bit lower space there, a little bit lower uh, floor level for more, more kit in the back. So I've got these switches here so you can release and fold the seats down from the back here And we'll go flat, the seat's a little bit too far back. So loads of loading space in the back there, which is fabulous. And then you can either shut it using the buttons up here, or again, if you wave your foot under the back here, it'll go down again. While I think about it, reversing camera on there as well. So as well as the sensors, we've got reversing camera there. And coming around this side, all in nice order. So it's sort of part, it's not actually leather in there, I think it's the, the uh, faux leather with um, uh, cloth inserts. Full set of carpet mats in there. Loads of space. A great family car, this. Oh, before I go in here as well, we've got some um, keyless, um, we've got keyless entry as well, so as long as the keys are with you, push on the button there that will lock the door and also fold the mirrors and then when you come back to it again simply open the door unfolds the mirrors and it's unlocked so you don't have to get actually get the keys out to operate the car because uh, it's keyless start as well so uh, looking in here you've seen the, the folding mirrors full set of uh, electric windows as you'd expect sporty seats as it's the GT line Okay, so we've got a really sporty little steering wheel in here, um, flat top and bottom, controls on here for um, computer system, uh, phone, etc. Okay, so this has got what they call the Peugeot i cockpit, which... Right, we'll show you the digital dash here, this is Peugeot's i cockpit, as you can see here we've got the normal dials up there, so speedometer and rev counter, but uh, there's a little control here and we can do various different things here. So. If you want the, uh, let's have a look at the driving mode. Yeah, that changes it to that situation. And then we can, hold on, let's go to navigation. So you can have the whole navigation screen transferred into the middle here. Uh, let's just see what else we've got there. 
and you can personalize it I believe for what how you want it so you can have there's there's a lot of things you can do with this um, to get it exactly how you like it. Oh, you can change it any time as you're driving along. I guess normal would probably be the dials. There we go. So here is the sport mode showing on the screen here as well. So we control that from down here and you can switch it on and off. Okay, so big screen in the middle here. This controls everything, including the heating system. It's all touch screen once you've selected the area you want to be in. So navigation, all the functions for the car. Okay, just show you some of the features on here. We've got automatic headlamp dipping. We've got lane change assist, um, blind spot sensors, um, obviously controls the parking sensors as well. And it's also got city stop, what I call city stop. I suspect Peugeot call it something else, but that's where you... If you get too close to something in front uh, in slow speed traffic, it'll break for you as well. So a lot of uh, safety measures on here as well. Uh, down here, these are the buttons that control the screen prior to you using the uh, touch screen uh, operation. And down here, six speed gearbox, uh, start stop button, and it has a sport button as well, which controls the way the car drives. Okay, we'll just show you the reversing camera here. There you go, you can see nice big screen. Okay, so we've got USB connection under here um, and we've also got wireless charging for a uh, phone as well. And then inside the centre console here, um, we've got a huge storage area which is actually cooled as well. So if you need to put uh, some food or drinks or anything in there, it keeps it cool in the summer. Right, let's just show you under the bonnet. There we go. So um, this is Peugeot's 1.2 litre turbocharged three-cylinder petrol engine. Fabulous little unit. This 130 brake horsepower, so loads of power, but still very economic. Okay, so let's just run through that again. 2018 on 67 plate Peugeot 3008, 1.2 GT line manual, um, 30,700 miles. Uh, finishing lovely blue metallic service history with the car lovely practical car this um, any more information please give me a call it's Simon Shield it's 01473 658091 or alternatively hop on the website for all the still pictures pictures of the, the service history it's all there and that's simonshieldcars.co.uk thank you for watching